quiet on set. <laughs> there we go. Life is so rush, rush, rush. Everything is in a hurry. And you get out there fishing, it slows everything down. I'm Clarence Modlin, and everybody calls me Bud. My dad was uh, uh, called Bud, and uh, he was on a ball team. I got on the same, t on the same team, and they called me Little Bud. I've always had a job after I was 12 years old, so I did a lot of work, and, but I, uh, I played ball, hard ball. As long as I was going straight, I was fast. <laughs> in fact, I was the third fastest in St. Joe. Football, track, basketball, pretty good in all of them. A friend of mine, a good friend, we went together and bought a, a Model A Ford Roadster. Convertible, you know. Had a rumble seat, you know. <laughs> My part was $35. And uh, I was 15. Oh, wow. 15 so, with that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I drove it quite a bit. When wow. the war came on, I drove Dad's car. He had a 1936 Chevrolet. Gee whiz, that, uh, we got a lot of boulevards. It's always good scenery. A lot of parks on hills where you can look out over the city river. Yeah, and then we got a lover's lane. <laughs> it's not too far from here. <laughs> Back in the horse and buggy days, of course, uh, that's where they, <laughs> they, when they had a date and wanted to go someplace, that's where they ended up. I wouldn't know. I was, I was young and tender, you know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I'm getting in trouble. And <laughs> I had a steady job in the summertime, five cents an hour. My wife's dad was a carpenter. They came back, I was working. For, I went back to work at Swift, that's where I worked before I went in the Navy. And anyway, he, he said, we need carpenters up around the job. So I went up for a job, I wanted to be an apprentice. He said, we don't need any apprentice, we need carpenters. I said, well, I'm not here. He said, you can drive nails, can't you? And I said, yes. He said, you're hired. <laughs> and I stayed with that company about four years. A short time I worked, for a farmer and uh, just doing odd jobs. I've been trying to milk for a couple hours and didn't have much luck. And uh, he came, he was real disgusted with me. <laughs> I said, I never milked a cow before. <laughs> My grandpa, he'd make home brew and, and he'd sit on the back step to drink beer and every once in a while he'd give me a little glass. <laughs> yeah. Grandpa, were you an only child? Yes. No siblings, no brothers or sisters? Well, they took one look at me and said, be no more. <laughs> when I was a baby. <laughs> so you're an only child, and I hear you have over 40 grandkids, right? How about over 60? Right at it's almost 79, uh, 70 now. Whoa. Oh. I'm working on 70. <laughs> wow. When the wife and I was going together, we decided we were going to get married. I told her I wanted a big family. We did vodka, it was the lever of my life. About the second date, and uh, I picked her purse up when she got out of the car and you know, took her to the door. And uh, she wanted her purse so before she went in. I said, I gotta get a kiss before you get your purse. <laughs> All right, and, okay, then you don't get no purse. <laughs> I started leaving, she, okay, okay. <laughs> I kissed her, <laughs> and that was a, really the, uh, the start of it. She loved to dance, and I did too. We, we belonged to several dance clubs in, uh, even, you know, even when we had the family. Put on shows too. Walt, Jitterbug, we got in some square dancing. So we, uh, we had a pretty good life. We did it about three or four dates, and then I went to Cal back to California, Supply Depot, and uh, next thing I know, she was out there. When we were still dating, you know, we uh, were on the beach. That's where I uh, asked her to marry me. She didn't hesitate. It's what she came out there for. 
Oh. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> oh man, she was she was one good mother. Uh, she was 42. We thought she was we were through having kids. We got a surprise, <laughs> and really a surprise when they found out they were twins. <laughs> Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. You just gotta go with the flow, whatever, you know, comes along. It, the, what you can't control, you gotta accept. And what's your advice on love? On love? I, I would say, find someone that enjoys doing what you do, and uh, so that you can carry on. Is love easy? It is for me. The love I have for my children. Without that, I wouldn't. Uh, you wouldn't have anything, really. The kids come first. That's one thing about my uh, wife. She never spent a lot of money on her, herself. It was always for the kids. Every once in a while, I'd take her out and buy her a new outfit, because she wouldn't do it. The most important decision I ever made was, was uh, getting married. This is this is your beautiful wife right here. That is her. She was a pretty gal. This is my wife and me, Rita, around July 19th, 1945. We were married on that day. So it was kind of like our wedding picture. Wow, look at this, this comparison here. Yeah. Were you voted the most handsome man in the world? Ha <laughs> ha, you're gonna be kidding. <laughs> fishing? Yeah. Oh, my dad and I, dad take me fishing we, when I was little. Life was so, uh, rush, rush, rush. Everything is in a hurry. And you get out there fishing, it slows everything down. Kind of like meditating. Sometimes, you know, you're sitting there and you don't get a bite, and you get a bite. You got time to think about a lot of things. You enjoy the beauty of the sky, it's clear, you know. Well, you enjoy what you have. Happiness is being content with what you are, really. I pray for my family and uh, thank the Lord for what I have. I mean, he's been good to me, believe me. Times when I have a problem or something, he'd get me out of it. Grandpa, when you're not here anymore, what do you want to tell all of your kids and your grandkids? What do I want to tell them? I've enjoyed life. You, you enjoy life. I mean, it's a, uh, that's the main thing, really.